Oh, man. You know, in the midst of scratching their heads over Republican Governor Mike DeWine's December 7th extension of his bizarre, unconstitutional curfew to guard against a virus that evidently becomes more deadly after 10 p.m. and before 5 a.m., Ohio residents might have missed the bizarre high school sports edict issued on December 4th. That's the command that high school wrestlers are permitted to wrestle, but before and after the match, participants are forbidden from shaking hands. Hi everyone, I'm Gardner Goldsmith for MRC TV. Let's allow the great people at WLWT5 to give us the lowdown. Among the new rules is student athletes are permitted to wrestle, but must refrain from handshakes before and after the match. They have some dumb ideas like lockdowns. This one is really dumb. Oh, thank goodness. Or is it thank government? After all, who knows where those hands might have been? Heck, they might have been attached to wrestlers who were breathing, sweating, and drooling on each other in their struggle for dominance on the mat. So, uh... Right. Oh, and then there's this added genius. Wrestlers are required to wear facial coverings off the mat when not actively competing or warming up. Because everyone knows when wrestlers aren't wrapped up with competitors like human pretzels, they might encounter the breath of another human being in those magic masks, which have not been proven to stop or reduce the transmissibility of COVID-19, actually offer extended magical protection to the period when they're not worn. You know, while the wrestlers are rolling around on the mat. Oh, and then there's this. All those on the team bench also need to observe social distancing of six feet. Gonna need a long bench. That's what she said. <clears throat> because, well, sure, when wrestling with maskless opponents, they do break the sorcery of the magic six-foot barrier and exchange a lot of fluids with others. They do breathe all over their opponents, but, uh... It looks good and quite fascistically uniform if a reporter takes a photo of the team on the bench and they're all spaced apart like little mass soldiers on review. And don't bother thinking about the fact that some team members actually go into the locker room or that they actually break the magic six foot barrier when they practice. Rules are rules, no matter how arbitrary and conflicting, nonsensical, oppressive, and downright crazy they may be. And it's authoritarian rules that are actually really important in America. Same goes for the refs in this case, who spend most of their time in close proximity to the contestants, crawling on their hands and knees, trying to watch for fouls and keep the competition honest. Another big change comes from officiating. To conclude the end of match procedure, the official may point to the winning wrestler while raising his or her own arm with open hand, having the requisite wristband color, red slash green, of the winning wrestler. Some speculate that DeWine's Ohio school bureaucracy will order refs to stand 80 feet away using binoculars and semaphore to watch and officiate. But as of this moment, the officials in Ohio haven't issued a wonderful press release to that effect. But you know, if it just makes one person safer, just one, it's all worth it. Despite the fact that the people deciding if it's worth it aren't actually the ones participating, nor are they their parents. You know, you know to make things really safe, perhaps the deciders ruling over the Ohio high school wrestling world could order all the kids to wear those giant sumo suits or get into plastic bubbles. Because we all know it's very important in today's America that no individual ever be allowed to make his or her own risk assessment and that all decisions be collectivized and homogenized. In fact, let's be done with that idea of individuality and individual responsibility altogether. We can change Independence Day to Dependence Day, have a central authority take our cash to, in turn, tell us how to live, and never bother thinking about the logical dead end that actually achieves. Yeah, it's pretzel logic, but as we can see in Ohio, logic is just as twisted and bound up as the wrestlers in the ring. And of course, logic and principle are being pinned to the proverbial mat 
by centralized authoritarian edicts all the time. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hey, if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe and tell your friends about the videos. If you have an opportunity, visit MRC-Store to get ready for Christmas and get some great MRC items. And of course, help the MRC while you're at it. And please do visit the great team at MRCTV.org. That's MRCTV.org. Love you so much. Follow us on Facebook. Check us out on Twitter. See us on yeah, Parlor and Instagram as well. We're all over the place. It's like this internet thing. <laughs> For MRC TV, I'm Gardner Goldsmith.